Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a cooking video with my grandma and the idea came to me because there's always recipes that I try from her that are so good and the funny thing is she never writes them down. So every time I ask, how do you make this or uh, I really loved this, can I have the recipe for this? Her answer is always, I don't have a recipe, I just kind of make it up as I go and um, sometimes just change up recipes that I found and just make it my own. So the best way to capture her style of cooking is by recording it. So I mostly recorded it for me to kind of go back and reference when I want to create these like really, di uh, these dishes that I just really love and so who knows, maybe this will be like a cooking with grandma segment that will continue and it'll turn into like a series. So if you end up liking this type of video, def uh, definitely comment down below and I can get her to uh, make some more favorites. She has so many, the options are literally endless. So the content would just kind of can go on forever. Um, but what, today we're gonna start with spinach and broccoli popovers. And the reason that I really wanted to do these was um, for many reasons, but Number one, spinach and broccoli are both really good for you and I really wanted some healthy alternatives to eating um, quick meal for lunch or dinner and this is a really great option. Um, number two is uh, the Chinese New Year, um, Lunar New Year is coming up in February and it's a great food for that. Um, you're supposed to kind of, kind of like with New Year's Day, eat foods that are going to bring you good luck and kind of give you abundance and prosperous to have a good year um, so with that um, this is a, re a really great meal for Chinese New Year um, whether you celebrate it or not it's just a really great way to kind of bring um, abundance into your life um, she is uh, one of the main she's like the main person who taught me um, about like that kind of living and just like doing things that make you feel good and eating foods that are really healthy and um, just thinking about what you're putting in your body so this is a really great, easy meal. I think it took us like 30 minutes. Um, I mean, it's going to take us a little longer just because we were filming it and like really wanted to like um, get some close-up shots and obviously um, go a little extra, the extra mile since we were going to be putting this on video. But normally um, it would be a really quick meal um, and doesn't take much, doesn't take many ingredients. Um, you can kind of switch it up um, depending on your lifestyle and what you prefer. Um, like for example, I, instead of regular butter, used vegan butter. Instead of regular flour, I used gluten-free flour, but that is totally up to you. Instead of real eggs, I used an egg substitute. Um, but as we go through, I can kind of guide you um, in case you want to just do the traditional way, totally fine. It's super versatile no matter what you like um, and no matter how your lifestyle is. So it's really great for everybody. Um, and a healthy alternative for if you're just like kind of stuck in a rut and you really don't know what to make, which is like me every week. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to show you um, this video, Cooking with My Grandma. It was really awesome. Um, she stays very busy. So I was very lucky that she was able to put some time aside and we were able to cook together and just kind of make memories. Um, so hope you enjoy it. Um, and without further ado, here we go. And it's not, not hard, it's, you know, it's, it's a challenge to find petite. Mm -hmm. They're all like super large. But you got yours from Randall's. Yeah, because that's, I mean, you can always go to Whole Food. I mean, to Trader Joe's, they might have the petite. Who knows? You might get lucky mm -hmm. and find me petite. Or just chop them up yourself. If you don't find the petite, just chop them up. That's what I usually do. Mm -hmm. I chop them up myself. Like when it's a large one like this or like this, like I'll cut it in half mm -hmm. and make it petite. Yeah, but it looks good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to cover it. Oh, uh, right there. And it's going to simmer there. Till it, uh, where do I put it on the spoon? Oh, yeah. This was at the bottom of the pan with butter. And as long as it's thyme or parsley, um, this, which this has both, then you're good to go. And then once you add the spinach and broccoli, you put a little bit of thyme at the top. Parsley. Oh, parsley. You put a little bit of parsley at the top to finish it. And then just let it simmer. 
So there's butter at the bottom, then the seasoning, then the spinach, then the broccoli, then a little bit more, you said, thyme. Mm -hmm. or now no. let's then a little bit more parsley. Yeah, and we occasionally stir it. You and it was, it was about three-fourth tablespoon of the seasoning. Yes. And occasionally, uh, don't, don't leave it unattended because you do need to stir it on occasion mm -hmm. so it doesn't, so it doesn't stick. Yeah. And if you feel like, because I didn't measure the butter, if you feel like it needs a little bit more butter, you might have to add a little bit more butter. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it, I might have to. Okay. So I'm going to put this little chunk here. And it was another piece about this bait. So now this is the second size chunk of butter. Okay. At the top. At the top. Yep. So it can kind of just go down. Okay. And then now we're going to start on the popovers. Yes. And the first thing we're going to put was the milk. This is the egg replacement because we're not going to use eggs today. Okay, so now we're going to add the eggs after the milk. That's what I can remember. And then we did two eggs worth instead of three eggs. Yeah. We did two eggs and then one cup of milk. So then we add the egg mixture to the milk and then the salt. We're going to need some salt. salt right here. You're just going to do a dash, remember? Yes, so we're just going to do a dash. And you have the whisk? Uh, yes. Oh, and we're going to melt the butter too. Um, yes. How much butter? One and a half tablespoons butter. One and a half tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna melt that. Yeah. Butter. What's the mixture? So you gotta be going back and forth. Yeah. Because Mix. you don't want it to stick to the pan, which is this is an excellent pan to use mm -hmm. because it's kind of like it's like nonstick. Yeah, and and I love that because you're not. Sometimes you can't find pans that, that don't stick. Yeah. And, uh, this one is doing the next one job. That's the green pan. Oh, no one. Okay, we got melted butter. One and a half ta uh, tablespoons. So you're whisking the, the egg and the milk. You whisk it. Here's the butter. And then you put Just a little version. So a cup, a cup of flour. Any flour you prefer. This one just happens to be gluten-free flour. Yeah. So you mix, you whisk the milk and the eggs together. Yes. 
Then you um, add the salt. Add the salt, and then you added the hot melted butter. The hot melted butter. And then now we're doing the flour. Now we're gonna do the flour. One cup of milk. Uh, we did two eggs. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of butter and a sprinkle of salt. Yes. And one cup of flour. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. Yeah. Instead of add the whole thing. So just add a little at a time. And whisk as you go. Yep. I got it all. So you want to look at the texture? Yeah. So when you make the mixture, you also have the the reason for petite is because you're gonna break up the broccoli in there. So petite broccoli, so you can break it up. No, so you can, no big pieces of broccoli. No big pieces because you want to break it up. Otherwise, they'll stay chunky. And then frozen spinach. Yeah. See how I broke some of them up already? Mm-hmm. Because they're already soft enough when they get soft enough you break them up mm -hmm. i think there was just one little chunk of spinach that was frozen somewhere yeah yeah that, that's why i'm able to break out the broccoli now what's cooking muffin pan has been in the oven at 400 just getting hot mm -hmm. you can just put it right there I hope it'll be okay because I've always... And this is a non-stick. Oh. So I don't think it'll get stuck. It should be fine. Because I make them pecan pies in here and I don't ever Oh, you don't? Spray. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you already stirred it? Uh, yeah. I can stir it again in a second. We're going to put like halfway. I was a little bit, but I'm going to try and scrape them and get some of this off for that last one, even if it's a little tiny one. I was able to do off. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Yes, or, or a little bit less. And do not peek. Whatever you do, do not peek. Do not open it. Yep. And I think that's what I did. I opened it. And otherwise they won't rise. Yeah. You check the temperature, right? What you're supposed to set it at. Yeah, 400 and then now we're done with that. Turn that off. And then they'll just pop right out. Pop yeah. overs. And then that was the finished product of the spinach and broccoli. Mm -hmm. I think that was good. Yeah. I'm trying to get this to set there, there. Okay, I can take these off. And you can, you, as you can see, what they look like. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Yep, all done. All done. Now you just top it with the spinach. Yep, yeah. you just top it with the spinach. Oh, Chinese New Year's is going to be on the 12th. Yep, so you can either top it like that. Or you can make a little sandwich, yeah. whichever way. Okay guys, so now that you've seen the final product, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see this series continue, definitely let me know and I can connect with my grandma. It's a really good bonding opportunity for us. So I'm more than happy to have these videos continue. If it's something that you're enjoying, if you are bored at home and not sure of what to cook, like me just kind of 
I'll phone a friend, get her over here. We can get another video up on the channel. And um, until then, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap on the bell to be notified every single time I upload. If you end up making this recipe, definitely comment down below and let me know. And until next time, bye.